Hello and welcome back to the third video in our Proclaim online course series. We're going to be looking today at how to build your first presentation in Proclaim. Now I pulled up Proclaim here on the Mac. It works the same on Windows and later in the series we'll be in Windows to use some more advanced features and to show you how to integrate with the live streaming software called vMix. That is for a whole other video though. So today I've already pulled up a blank presentation. I've done that by clicking File new and then I clicked on blank presentation and that's where we are and many times this is where you might start or especially if you're just starting out with the software this is all that you have you don't have anything else to work with uh, once you kind of get to pre-service loop in place those are your announcements and other things that you want to loop at the beginning of the service you can duplicate those week after week but let's get into how you actually would build this out so first and foremost you would want to probably start with the pre-service loop and I use these announcements Obviously, they just released uh, recently the announcements version 2. We can see that's new here. And it is a little bit easier. And so I would drag that. It's in the service by default. I just clicked and dragged that up to the pre-service loop. And then we can add our announcement. And the way that this works is we can simply click into here. And then we can type in the content that we want. So, for example, if the announcement was there was going to be a business meeting, uh, we could say that, you know, business meeting. Um, and then we can click into here. Um, you know, we will, okay, and it would be something like that as an example, you know, your announcements are your announcements. And so if you don't want something such as the church announce or church auditorium, the location, you can just press this trash icon and delete it. Uh, you can set your date here. And so, um, you know, I'll say that it's Sunday or whatever, um, 6.30 p.m. Um, and then if there needs to be a contact, then you can have that as well. The thing is, this is pretty basic. And so how do we actually get a design on this? Uh, the way that you actually can design these is via smart media. Um, so click on template at the top and it works a little bit different for songs. But if you click on template and then browse, you will be able to click service items announcement version two. So we have content, which is going to be more for your sermons. We're going to cover those later songs, Bible, click on announcement V2 and you'll see all of the different announcement options that you have. So if I liked this one right here, um, then I would just press apply as smart media. If I do add as a new item, it would actually just create a new item for me here. But if I, if I wanted it to be, you know, uh, if I wanted to apply to this already existing announcement, then I would have to press apply as smart media. So by doing that, I just pressed it. And as you can see, it just changed the fonts, the colors, the background. And it did all of that pretty much for me. It did actually bring back our church auditorium. So if you don't want that, you would have to um, go modify that again. OK, so that's how you do the announcements is you simply add the items. And it's as simple as that. The other things that you can do is you can have a different content. Let me give you an example. If you want to have a Bible verse, you can do on screen Bible and you could choose a verse. Uh, so, you know, you have all your different Bible versions up here at the top. ESV, New King James, and there's tons of versions. I believe that there's 25 and that you can purchase more over here if you need them. Um, and so you can pull up a verse. And if you want this verse to show, um, type in the verse and then just press go and then this would actually loop in here so let me give you an example we'll press play and so this actually brings the verse right here it's very cool how that works we'll talk more about that here shortly but just to show you this would kind of work automatically and it would bring the verse up so if you wanted to have some scripture inside of your pre-service loop you can do that Okay, and it would advance forward after 10 seconds. We're not going to wait on it. So you would build your entire pre-service loop if you wanted that. Announcements, any scripture. Another cool thing that you can do to kind of kill time, I guess, so to speak, is use Bible trivia. So Bible trivia is right here. You add how many questions you want, and you choose the theme. You have dark, light, also fun, which is more kind of kids and stuff. But it depends on your church and, and how things are there. Um, I, I kind of prefer the light one, and I've used this at church, and so people can go play along at the address shown. They don't have to, though. Uh, they can just simply sit there and kind of answer in their heads, and that's how we've seen a lot of it happen at our church. Okay, the warm-up here is going to be the period before. So, for example, if I put items in the warm-up, um, for example, a video, 
So I could click on, and I accidentally clicked image slideshow. Let me delete that. I just right click to delete that. Um, but if I wanted the video to play before the main service started, I could put this here in the warm up. So everything here in the loop will loop until it gets to our service time. So let's say that our service time started at 6 p.m. on the dot. This video, when I add the video, so we'll browse media, and let's go find a video really quick. Um, so let's say that it was, you know, let's use this worship service intro. So we'll um, apply to a video item, so it's going to apply it here. Now, I actually, I don't have, I have not purchased this video. So that's why you're seeing the lock icon here. And we can talk more about media another time in a different video. But the point here is that this video is a minute and eight seconds long. So this, the pre-service loop will continue to loop pretty much forever until a minute and eight seconds before 6 p.m. So the pre-service loop will go. And then when when you know i guess at 558 you know 52 that's when this warm up would trigger you can add more items in here and it will calculate the time so just as an example if i brought in you know an announcement item so i'll copy this and bring it down here that's 5 seconds right here uh the reason that it's 5 seconds is because we have the auto advance here and so we can set that to 10 seconds if we wanted it to and so now we can see that it is 1 minute and 18 seconds in the warm-up. So it will automatically start based on this time right here in the blue, 6 p.m. Then you actually would get into your service items. Now I'm going to collapse these just so they're not in our way. And our service is what's drawn up here. Before we get into the service, I want to quickly touch on the post-service loop. It's the exact same as the pre-service loop. It does have to be manually triggered. You have to click the first items, um, you know, you have to click the first item in the loop and it will continue to loop through it. So after the service is over, you click this. That's pretty much as people are exiting maybe your church, you would have that playing. Uh, again, the announcements may be a thank you for coming, these sorts of things. Now, I'm not going to cover that further because it's the exact same as the pre-service. So we're just now going to focus on the service and adding in items. So the first things first is we have different media items. Normally, you're going to start your service either with Bible or song. That's how most people do it. Sometimes there's a video, but we would normally include that in the warm-up like I showed you earlier. So uh, let's go ahead and start with a song and we'll add that song in there. Now Proclaim likes to put this stuff in the last section you were editing, so I'll just click and drag it down. Very easy, I'll collapse the warm up again. And we're now in the song here. One of the best features of Proclaim is that you don't have to manage your own library or database. So it says, search Faith Life Music, the hymn base, and song select to add song lyrics or create a new song if you don't find what you're looking for. That's the best part of this software is that you do not have to always type in the song. So if I'm looking for, let's just say it's a more traditional service, so we're going to sing To God Be The Glory, I'll just search that. So To God Be The Glory, and these are my songs, but down here as well, the hymn base has it down here as well. So obviously over time we've been using this, and so we have created our own songs, but down here you can see as well that they have that hymn right here. So I'll go ahead and just click the one that I've created and we can see that it showed up right here um, so we have a title slide right here at the top and then we have all of our hymns if you don't like the title slide just come down to the bottom where it says show title on title slide just uncheck that now you don't have a title slide anymore obviously there's no credits either if it was licensed by ccli you can add that to add your number here and so that would show up um you know or, or whatever and that would uh, show on the title slide so you would see CCLI license number and all that. So if that's important to you, you can add that. I'm going to get rid of the title slide for now. And the way that the song engine works here is that you have your verse. And so, for example, you can see these headings, verse 1, verse 2, verse 3, and then chorus. Unlike other presentation software, you don't have to repeat the chorus every single time. So what this means is that up here in the top, where we have this. Now if we uncheck that then it's actually just going to it's going to play it just like we have right here so you would have to repeat the course. However you can check this box which is checked by default and I'm going to delete all of this just to show you but it shows you what you have here. So if I wanted the title slide I could click it and it would show it. I'm going to delete it I don't want it um, and I'm going to press verse 1. Now it's asking me what's next so we have the two slides here. Well the next is chorus okay so chorus shows up then verse 2 
and then chorus, and then verse 3, and then chorus. But you can customize this however you want. So maybe you actually don't do the chorus after verse 2. Maybe, you know, this is a different song, or you're doing it a different way, and you want to go from verse 2 right to verse 3. You can do that, and it's actually done that for you in here. So it's very easy. You can also just manually type. If you want to add it back in, it's easy enough. So we've added it back in. And that's how it works. So you use these headings right here, verse 1, verse 2, uh, and then chorus. And so you can do pretty much infinite level of verses. Bridge is also supported if you have a song that has a bridge. So um, to apply like the styling to it, uh, the way that that works is you go to background, browse media, and you choose on service items, you choose song. So previously we chose the announcement, and we're now going to choose song. And so there's tons of free stuff in here. You can search by best match, trending, to see what's trending. Um, and let's choose this one right here, Northern Lights Purple. I'll apply a smart media. So what it does is it's going to bring in our text, it's going to modify it some, and it's also going to, to show our, verse, our uh, hymn number. I don't like the hymn number here. I always like it in one of the top corners, so I'm going to manually move it. You could just drag and drop. It moves that on every page. And same thing with this. I think that the text needs to be a little bit larger. Um, it's, it's a little bit difficult to read. So I'll just kind of drag and make it larger. If it didn't increase in size, I would come up here to where it says font size. And I would just increase it some, maybe to 90. And that looks pretty good here. And if I don't like that font, uh, a lot of times my preferred font is one that's built in here called CMG Sans. It's very readable, very legible. Um, but you can choose whichever font you'd like prefer. This is a video background. Not all backgrounds are video. There's tons of media that's available to you. But you can press play to preview how that will look. So that's how it will look. It will move just like that as you're presenting. So the next thing that I normally do, and this depends on you, do you want to have a different background for every single song or do you want to have the same background? If you want to have the same, a lot of times I recommend just duplicating the item. So that brings you here with the same background already. You can just click right up here to song title and bring in the next song. Um, we'll do He Keeps Me Singing or The Lily of the Valley. Okay, so here we go. And again, verse 1, 2, and 3, there's no chorus on this song, so you can see how that works. Uh, I want to bring up something else too. So we have here four lines of text. Um, sometimes, you know, by default or in the hymn library, it will look something more like this. And that's kind of a lot of text to have on your screen at one time. To, to fix that, all you do is just click, you know, where you want the line break to be and press enter. Anywhere there's a line break, that constitutes as a new slide. So hopefully that explains that. Okay, so there's that. We've added that song. We'll duplicate and add one more song. So we'll just choose another one. Again, I'll do He Keeps Me Singing this time since I did see that one. We'll check the arrangement. It looks good to me. Verse 1, 2, and 3 in chorus. Now let's say that we want to have a video. I've already showed you how to do that, but we'll go ahead and press Add Item and then Video. And we'll browse media and we'll find a video. There's tons of videos. There's countdowns. You can use all those inside of your warm-up. Various different things. Um, for us, though, let's kind of look through here and, and find a, a different video. So what I'll show you down here, too, is that if you want to purchase more media, you have Dan Stevers. You have those are more backgrounds, Free Bridge. Um, if you really want to have something that's more around um, like uh, like a welcome video, so to speak, or, or like to try to set the tone of the service, uh, Igniter Originals are really good as well. There's also a lot of these down here. And so you have Sounds of the Cross, you know, We Are Here. There's different videos that are kind of motivational videos. So as an example, let's say that we wanted to have that. Um, I add that as a new item by accident, so I'll just delete the other item. And if you have the Proclaim Pro Media Pack uh, plus Partners, which is one of the higher tiers of Proclaim, then you get all these included. You don't have to pay additional. But you can see here that that media is locked. It wants me to purchase it, so I would have to purchase that media for, um, for the partner media right here. So if I wanted to purchase that item only, it would be $20. Okay, so now let's say that uh, pastor's going to come up. We're going to have our sermon. Uh, to start with a sermon slide or a title, I always do a content block. So sermon title, I'll manually name that here. And then I'll click background browse media again. I'm going to uncheck this so that we can see everything. And now we have all these different things here. So there are kind of sets, and just as an example, we'll choose this one. And just to show you here, we have right here where it says like sermon title and all that. So we'll apply this to smart media. 
and it's asking us for the title of the sermon. So we'll just say, you know, um, I don't know. We'll just come up with something. Um, you know, I didn't come up with that. That's the uh, name of a popular thing in our answers in Genesis. Uh, the subtitle, if you had one, you could put that. It would be at the top or the Bible verse as well. So, again, we'll continue with our Genesis 1-1 theme. So, as you can see, it's already styled this. If you don't like that this box is kind of off-centering it, uh, you can just move these around as needed. So, uh, very easy. Now it's maybe a little bit more centered or maybe worse, depending on how you look at it. The point is you don't have to design anything. You can design. You can come in here and you can change fonts and do everything manually if you prefer, but you don't have to. Now let's say it's time for Bible. You have a couple options. One, you can use the main Bible option, which will allow you to pull it up. So Genesis 1, 1. And let's say that we're going to do 1, 1 through 10, just so that we have a little bit more to work with. As you can see here, you choose which version you want. Um, you know, I choose whichever. And you have different options here. Wars of Christ in red. We're in Genesis, so there won't be any red. You can do verse numbers, include section headings. You can break slides on paragraphs. I want you to play with these settings and find what works best for you. You can copy what I have here if you prefer. So if you don't want the version on every slide, you can take that off, um, and so on and so forth. If you want certain verses to be, you know, if you want emphasis, which some, some people do you can simply highlight in here and bold stuff okay so with that being said this is option number one and again you can go to background and browse media and since we're already selected inside of this I have decided to follow Jesus you know category if I remove this um, it's gonna load all these it's loading right now of course we have all of these things here but since we were on Bible proclaim was smart enough to show us only the Bible thing so we could apply that as smart media and here's how it would look so it's automatically styled it for us and it looks relatively nice so this is option one for Bible option number two is to use the on-screen Bible so again we'll type in the same passage of Scripture Genesis 1 uh, 1 through 10 okay so we'll go ahead and add that and we have three options we have style number one which looks kind of like this you can play around with these we have style number two which is again a little bit different you have different color options as well that you can choose from if you don't prefer that um, there's many options and you have option number three which is my personal favorite this one here and again color options are available on that as well so the way this works is and I'm gonna go on air just so that we can see this together um, and in fact, let me just say go on air with watermarks. We don't have those videos, which is why it's, uh, it's you know, giving me that issue. I'm going to manually come down here and click on this last verse of scripture. And now I'm going to just use my arrow keys to advance forward. And you can see this is how it looks here. So Genesis 1, 1 through 4 is what it's giving us right now. And when I press my arrow key, it actually just kind of scrolls down the page, almost like you're reading from a real book. This is very cool. There is a little bit of a delay, so when I click, it has that transition to kind of fade it down. So you'd have to time it correctly on your end. And we're now at the end, so there's no more verses here. Uh, let me go back to edit mode for now. Um, if you want, you can customize this a little bit. The, the biggest problem, I would say, is that you don't have the ability to break it up the te like break the text up further so what I mean by that is you know we're looking at about that much scripture you know each time so what is that I guess that's about that's two verses on the previous ones you know they're giving us kind of about a paragraph I mean so that's probably I don't know 20 words or so uh, this is even four verses up here you don't have a way to do it verse by verse so if you don't like that then you might want to stick to the other method um, this Bible method because it gives you much more granularity you can choose one verse per slide if that's what you want so it's one verse there um, okay so with that being said that's how you do all of that and then if you have a closing song or you have an offering or another things you can add these different items so there's content there's other things I'm not gonna cover all of these features in the surveys and the results and the cues these are kinda more advanced things especially the cues are um, but these are the way that you build a basic presentation inside of here now when it's time to actually present that presentation I'm gonna briefly go through that the way it would work is you just click in here and then after five seconds and you can see that this countdown is kinda going down it, it automatically advances to the next slide Slide. So we added this scripture in here, and so this one's 10 seconds, so we'll give it a second. It's almost advanced. Okay, and then it advances to the next slide, 
and then this one was only just a couple of seconds, and now we're in the Bible trivia, so it's going to do the Bible trivia for about two minutes. So at which point, let's say that, you know, five, um, 50, you know, 55 rolled around or whenever, uh, the warm-up kicks in, we would actually have this video start playing. I'll pause that, and after the video, go into here, and then automatically after this ends, and I'll let it end actually, so in a couple seconds, it's going to automatically put us on this first slide for the first song. So as you can see, it put us on that first song. You can click, you can use the space bar, you can use the arrow keys to go through these. And so you will just continue to go through them just like you would in pretty much any presentation software. Okay, and then when you get to the end of a song, what you want to do is use these quick quick screens. Uh, you can, for now, your logo probably wouldn't be set up out of the box, but you could do blank, which would black the screen out. This is what it would look like. And let me clear the pager really quick because I noticed that uh, that was there. Uh, and then let me go back to the to the slide. If you didn't want to completely just make it black, you could do the no text. And so that would just remove the text and keep the background there and moving if it was a video background. And then when the next song came up, you would just be able to bring it up and, and go on just like that. Okay, and so it's the same with all of this. Now I'm going to show you quickly how to set up your quick screen. Go to settings and then go to quick screens. Here you will have various quick screens, so I'm not going to show you all of these. You can create custom ones. Um, some of these are on by default, but the logo is the main one. And so you would click change background and you would have to go choose and upload an image. So that's what we did here. And it's as simple as that. Um, that's really all there is, is you have to create a slide with your logo on it and then you upload it by clicking import and then you would go find the file on your computer and upload it. So then anytime that you click that, it would bring up your logo on the screen. Okay, the last thing on quick screens that I'll show you that is on by default, if you go to settings, quick screens, we were just there, on screen Bible, um, it's here. So you have different options, those three animated options, and then a very basic plain option. You can click the on screen Bible, and by clicking that, you'll notice right here at the top, it brought up that reference, and you can type in a verse. And if you press enter, it will automatically pull it up as quick as it possibly can. And so it's up now, and so you can see that. Okay, so that's really how you run the presentation. At the post service loop, after you finish the service, you would just click the first item in there to trigger it, and then it would loop until you close down the program. Uh, the final thing, which I may have mentioned in the other videos but may not have today, is that to present, you have to be in the preview mode, and you have to click on air. So you have to click this red, this button, in, until it come, becomes red. And if you have media that you know you didn't purchase, it has the lock icons, you can go on air with watermarks. There's watermarks for that. But now you're on air. Okay, so we'll, we haven't uh, talked about setting up the outputs and the displays, but we'll cover that here in the next video. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you there.